everybody. I'm Thomas Rodnicki and I am finally here with my uh, Exomotive Exoset. It's based off a 1994 Mazda Miata 1.8 liter. Uh, I got it probably 10 years ago or so. Uh, originally black NA, black and tan package. Uh, turbocharged the car in that state, did suspension, started doing auto crossing. And at that point, I decided I wanted more. Uh, best way to get more is to have less. So I removed about 900 pounds from the car, uh, put it on this tube chassis, rebuilt it from there. Um, it is a 1.8 liter uh, BP engine out of a 94 Miata. Has a flying Miata turbo kit, uh, making about 240 horsepower or so. Uh, that may not seem impressive, but it also only weighs around 1,500 pounds without me in it. Um, I actually did drive this on the street quite uh, for yeah, a couple years when I first got it. Yeah. Took two trips to Tennessee from Yadis at the Gap. Um, much, much more fun when there than it is when you're on the way there. Um, decided that it wasn't worth driving it on the street anymore and it became strictly a track car. Um, since then it lost almost every accessory possible. There's no headlights, no blinkers. Um, you know, the wiring harness got stripped out, uh, got rid of the fenders, got rid of the windshield. Um, now I run mostly uh, Hoosier A7s. You know, I got a big wing for it. Um, you know, aggressive offset, aggressive suspension. Um, and it is a track toy 99.9% .9 of the time uh, since it is not street legal anymore. Uh, since I've been mostly autocrossing it, you know, I started with a base Miata, so I know what it's like driving all those cars that Quinn drove at Lime Rock. And I really think he's going to be quite impressed when he gets this in there and, and does some lap times. All right, boys and girls, another episode of the Slip Angle with this turbocharged Exo set belonging to our good friend Thomas Rodnicki. We got a lot of crap on the tires here. I got to set our start finish time for the, uh, the data acquisition. Just a little disclaimer here, my seating position is a little bit too up front. So it's, a hard, it's hard for me to manipulate the pedals, but we're gonna do it the best that we can and see how it goes. All right, here we go. We gotta get the crap off of the tires. We are parked in the grass. having much for grip here. These are some sort of our compound. I see pitted rubber and stuff flying all over the place. I'm gonna put my visor down. All right, timer's working. Start going for some times here. Loose up the hill, no grip. She's a loose girl. Very light in the rear end. already pipped the 37.4. That's a record time here on the slip angle. And this car's got plenty more time in it. Got to use the whole track here. Ah, oh, I'm missing that shift. I'm too close to the pedals.
37.2, getting a little bit faster. Trying not to drift up the hill. I'm burning my leg on the transmission tunnel. It's hot out today. Missing that shift again, that's costing us. This Integra is going to slow us down. Seven three. Try to keep it tidy. Really use those brakes. Nose is right in on the brakes. Good brake bias. She's a wild girl! Come on, stay tidy! Ooh, backfires! I feel like we're losing grip in the rears. Come on, grip. Got to be so ginger with that throttle application, putting the power in. Got that shift a little bit better. We got 37 flat. Getting a little bit better. See if I can get one more clean lap with the tires warmed up. Uh-oh, we're losing grip. Whew. Using those brakes to tuck her in. I'm gonna just go right off the rev limiter this time and not even try to shift. I don't think we're gonna get it. We got 37.4. Ah, we botched that lap. I think we just don't have enough rear grip. So Tom said that these tires are pretty shot. So, but we, he said we could take them in without any any rubber left. I think 37 flat's the fastest we're gonna go. It is very hot today. Last time we had this car out here, we were in the 36s, but I don't think we have the rear tire grip. So let's talk about the balance of this thing. Let this guy go. So when you do this exosec conversion, you throw away all the 50-50 weight balance of the Miata. And you get very front heavy. So what that means is, this thing wants to spin like a top. It's 
so that's a handful. the tire I think we lost the tire here's something flapping get Matt you to check did I lose the tire Oh no, Matt, you got burned. Alright. Right, go ahead, drive forward. Dude, that was that last shot was sick. Yeah? Yeah. Oh Matt, you're pulling the cord off of the tires. Wait, stop, stop. Can we cut it? Do you have a knife? Not on me. Ah. Got it. Oh Matt, you got it with a key! Way to go, Matt you! Woo this wouldn't be the slip angle if we didn't cord some tires, right? So we gotta give her a minute to cool down. Water temperatures are approaching 240 degrees. It's getting very hot. I'm getting hot. I gotta cool down. Too much going on. a good epic car. Oh, one-handed. One-handed, it's that easy. <laughs>
of this thing, like I said, it wants to just spin like a top because there's no weight on those rear wheels. You can get this thing going into a tremendous angle and just pick whatever point on the track you want it to go to. It's so easy to control. Once you catch that slide, you have to be very quick on that initial turn and be, like once the car starts to oversteer, you have to really like be on your sharpest game to catch it and not spin around like a top. But man, it is so much fun and so rewarding. This is how like lightweight sports cars should be. It really is the epitome of like the rawest driving thing you can get for the money. It's so cheap because it's a Miata underneath and even the conversion is not terribly expensive. Oh, crazy car. Would I want to drive this on the street? Probably not because I feel like I would die if I actually tried to push it. But man, my voice is shut because I'm yelling. But just an epic, epic raw mechanical ride. And as I'm looking in my, my mirror here, I see half the cord missing from the driver's side rear tire. So thank you very much, Tom, for always being such a great sport and letting us review this awesome, awesome, awesome car. Super epic. And then look at this guy. He told me to burn it. <laughs>